You! Over here! Oh, good. You're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. I hardly think I deserve to be dealt with. All I did was raid his lab. And shoot his colleagues. And lift his research. It is not even useful research. Just a formula for some kind of diet toothpaste. Diet toothpaste. Can you imagine a more pernicious example of corporate materialism? I do not know what is worse. Working here, or dying here. And I am glad you have the luxury of sarcasm. Whereas I have been made to spend my day listening to my crew die to corporate guns and hungry rapts. This job was not supposed to end with me stuck in some wretched lab smelling like rapts. So I would be very much obliged if you gave me a break. You mean other than the satisfaction of doing me a good turn? Trust me, I'll make it worth your while. Same reason you are, more than likely. I imagine we picked up the same tip. Secret research facility, abandoned town, minimal security. Crane actually sent out a cry for help? Oh, the poor bastard. Seeing his life's work snatched from him? Must be like losing a child. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Cleo Security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay, but you'd have to clear out the rafts for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. You and I are on the same side. We both possess the means to fight back against a tyrannical and oppressive corporate regime. Then you are nothing more than a hired gun. No better than an inanimate object with no will or spirit of your own. Think it over. I am not going anywhere. Which is, I suppose, rather the point. What was that? Waiting 
for this! You're gonna bust it down or Jimmy the lock? Done and done.
All those innocent guns slaughtered. Looks like we're doing this. Come. 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 Still got it. Nice and quick. Hey, you got it open. Wow. 
help. Searching for unauthorized person. Heads up, boss! Take him down! Can we do that again?
Never imagined I'd save his boss, but even a raptodon deserves better. <laughs> You get! Yeah, boss?
Again? Am I the only one who really wants to toss a rock at that fence? Good, you're back. Not that I missed you. I assure you, I am not capable of such emotional capacity.
Good to see you, boss. Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? The unit is a cleaning Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it, but I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? How can I be of a... Mm-hmm. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Hey there! Got word on the wireless. Your flag's cleared, you're free to go. Hope you enjoyed your time on Groundbreaker, the last free port of call in all the colony. We don't need luck. We got June Lay. Bye now! Regularly scheduled Cargo. Cargo. 16 hours a day and half of us still can't afford a bed. Careful where you're smoking. Deceptions and lies. Don't believe the board. Sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero-G brew. Oh, it's Martin. Hey, Martin. Still wearing the hat? How observant. I'm authorized to state that this uniform is more than headgear. Oh, and it's not the best. A lot of slogan. Uh, have a look. Ah, the old rest and go, with all the luxury and comfort of a shipping container. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Rose? You don't hurry up. 
Someone will get to... What's that? Speak up now. What'd you turn up? These corporations, I tell you. Once they get an idea into their big, dense heads, there's no getting it out again. Can't imagine how I'll offload this, but waste not, want not, I suppose. A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a patch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. Depends. What are you planning to do with it? See the lights. Taking a show or two at the infamous Bijou. Could be a treat if you like that kind of thing. All right, I'll sell it to you. But it's gonna cost you dear. Anything else, dear? Want a charming copper kettle off that girl who... to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed. Talk to your local manager about applying for military training and lend your life to protect the wildlife and brands and products. Military service does not guarantee
guaranteed full of pipes, pads, brakes, military... Military burial, participation medal, training, or weapons. This story brought to you by Halcyon News. All the news is to... Nobody Woo! messes with you, boss. to keep your eyes to yourself in my job. Nobody wants you looking close at their cargo. Seeking relief from the heat? Till June Lei gets those radiators fixed, I've got the next best thing. The radiators, they're fucked ten ways to Sunday. And we're all sweating buckets wondering when the powers that be are gonna get around to fixing it. I couldn't say, and I wouldn't be pouring drinks professionally if I could. All I know is, we're cooking in our own juices here, and it's only gonna get worse. Engineering. Chief Junlei Tennyson, to be precise. She runs this heap, best she can, anyway. Don't know what's got her dragging her heels, but I wish she'd hurry it up. Luck's nothing against the cold void of space. But sure, good luck to us. Nothing you need. Welcome to the Lost Hope, our little tribute to the mystery. If you're short on bits, you can work off your tab. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Tossball finals are scheduled to air soon. But a scandal has rocked the league and thrown this pivotal game into question. Are you listening? You can't... Something I can help you with? Not without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs, and that's simply not tenable. Good on you, Doc. You don't want Cleos sinking their claws into you like that. It's the board or the outlaws, I'm afraid. I'm beginning to wonder if perhaps the devilish board we know might be better than the pirates we don't. Take care. Sorry, am I causing a scene? Seum Furu? 
We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Good luck getting to Jessie, and better luck if you do. She's a real piece of work. work. Somehow, I always find my way back to the Groundbreaker. I've been waiting for 